Hello and welcome to the ROS Robot Programming Tutorial. I'm Leon Zhang, Assistant Research Engineer at Robotis. In the tutorial, all descriptions are going to be presented based on ROS Robot Programming textbook. In this chapter, we are going to think about the robot software platform. This is the contents. We'll have a look on the components of the platform and we will see what the robot software platform is and why should we use it. Actually, this tutorial is for understanding the ROS, but this chapter focuses on the robot software platform, so we will not limit the topic to ROS here. What do you think about the similarity of these two devices? Yes, they are popularized products that everyone has. I think that you have already more than one personal computer or personal phone. And here, we consider it to the smartphone. They are not a state-of-the-art devices anymore, but they are indispensable for social activities. Then, let's think about why could they become so popular. The first reason is in the modernized hardware. You can replace your keyboard when it is going wrong but it doesn't matter which product you will replace it is, if it is keyboard. In smartphone, they are also modernized, like if its battery is gone, you can replace it into the new one. The modernized hardware could give convenience on its use, so they could be popularized. We know Windows, Linux, we also know the Android or iOS. They are major operating systems generally used on personal devices. In fact, they provide hundreds of thousands of cross-compilable APIs to application developers. So they can make games, tools, or other things easily without the perfect understanding of hardware devices. To sum up, the popularization could be happened when the device has modernized hardware when it has operating system, when it provides application program. The user was not actually told in previous page, but they have given various feedbacks to the developers, so we will take the user into account. In the frontier market, many people call this ecosystem, which is divided by each role. Ecosystem has been thought as very important since this can bring diversity in business and the technology. Then, how about in the robotics field? As we saw a similar trend from two devices, robotics fields might be following the same stream. Let's think about the Iron Man. In the film, the hero knows everything and can do anything for making a robot. He knows mechanics energy resources, quantum mechanics, electrical engineering, and software. But we know that we can't do all of them. We are not a Stark. Here's the example. This shows how the mobile phone has been changed. While it becomes smaller and being convenient for carrying, it could be commercially available. But all of these changes become possible during the revolution of software platform, or in other words, operating system. This revolution leads to integrate the hardware interface. In the past, every cell phone makers made their own software platform based on their hardware structure and specifications. Now they are making the hardware, they don't make the software, they just use the standardized operating systems. When it happens, Hardware abstractions, standardization, and modularization was done. When the mass production was started, price was decreased even with the greater performance. The hardware, the OS, and the application was completely separated, and only what they needed is to focus on the needs from the user, not just making a phone call, but servicing mobile games, messengers, photographs, and social network service. User buys and gives a product feedbacks, which encourages manufacturers to make better quality products and finally contributes to form an ecosystem. 
the history repeats itself. Like personal devices, there are over 40 kinds of OS that were developed for the use of robotic field. Here is Now Key, which is used in the robot Now and Pepper, OpiRos, OpenRTM, which is made by Korean and Japanese respectively, and the ROS, which is the most popular one in the world. These have different characteristics on their measurement, and therefore some of them were failed the distribution for the other regions. There are lots of companies that are using them. While the SoftBank fully controls the Naoki software and its business, the other major big companies use ROS, sharing each other's ideas freely, and so ROS was spreading fast pace. Then the other platforms were influenced and complemented, so now they become very similar to each other. Then can we say which one is the best? I think the answer should be no. So stop creating a playground and just be a great player. So this is an idea that made operating system for a robotics field. As you saw from the history of electronic devices, the robot software platform will bring many advancements. You can think that almost always the same. This will establish the interface between hardware and software. Modularized hardware will be on the market. And the developer can do their work without understanding hardware layer. So the software programmers, like game programmers, can join in robotics fields. And they can focus on improving the user services. And users can give invaluable feedbacks. Therefore, the robot development will be much faster. Now, we can draw a picture of relations between the personal devices and the robot. And we can say the robot as personal robot too. Then let's preview what the ROS is.